All right, so I'm out doing the feeding right now, and uh, I want to do a video of my rainwater collection system. Um, I got these IBC totes right here behind me, you can see, um, for $60 a piece from a guy locally. I have another one inside my greenhouse in there, but I painted them red, two reasons. One, it matches the, my roof of my building, and two, it kind of keeps, since they're out in the sunlight, it kind of keeps the algae from forming on the inside. But right here's my system. It goes from my rain gutter. That's a, a three by two downspout, and then three inches, uh, three inch PVC pipe. So I got some sewer fittings here. It reduces down to an inch and a half, and then it goes into a three quarter pipe with a ball valve here that supplies my greenhouse. And then it drops down uh, here as well, uh, another T, which supplies my outside uh, totes right there. Now down here, I have a clean out where I can turn the water on and the water that's collected there will, get, uh, will come out. All right, so what has to happen is all the water coming down piles up, you know, from the bottom up, okay? So any debris that's in my gutter or on my roof at the time will pool down here. And then once it fills up, then it'll start to divvy into that tank right there, which actually feeds two tanks. And I got them tied together right here. Um, it fills up from the bottom up equally on both tanks. So the only way this tank is tied to the system is from the bottom here, which I got a, a faucet gravity fed that I can hook a hose up. This was my old garden. Spot, but I've since gained two of those critters right there and now it's uh, my goat paddock okay my goat pasture so anyway so this fills up that one they fill up equally there's only one overflow and that is that right there I had a hose attached to it but I took it off but that's the only overflow right there that way whenever the rain you know the tanks are full and the rain is up or coming down it can overflow right there. I had a hose and I ran it all the way to the other side of my horse run in over there, but that's it right there. That's the only way it gets out. One thing I recommend, if you're putting them off the ground like this, okay, that you build a solid structure. Then things weigh, you know, they're 275 gallons. I'm probably getting uh, where I got my holes drilled, probably about 250, uh, 250 gallons, okay? So you're looking at almost a ton of weight sitting on something you're gonna build, okay? Power line came through and they, they dropped a bunch of poles and I told them I uh, wanted them at my place, the poles that were there. So I cut them up and I used them as posts. I concreted them in and if you notice, the weight of my tank is actually sitting on my posts, okay? So I'm not relying on screws or you know nails to hold that weight, it's actually sitting on those posts. And this post right here, I mean, they're all pretty beefy. That's that's about 12 inches in diameter. And I think the smallest one I got holding them up is probably eight inches in diameter. But as you can see, it fills up quite nice. I'll shut her off. One tank was filled up, when I put the one in the greenhouse, one tank filled up with a quarter inch of rain. Now I got a, uh, the roof is 15 by 39. Okay, that's the actual roof dimensions, but with a quarter inch rain, it filled up that, and there was some coming, uh, doing, you know, overflowing. So it fills up quickly, and you don't realize how much rain, you know, you can harvest. All right, so there you have it, my rainwater uh, collection setup. If you're allowed to do it in your state, and I know some states are not allowed to, which is a whole other different topic, but if you're allowed to do it, I highly recommend it, especially if you want to do the homesteading aspect of it. You know, these goats, and the pigs I raised last year, I, roast, I raised two hogs and I butchered them out myself this uh, winter. But they never drank city water until um, the temperatures got below freezing for an extended period of time. You know, a couple, couple nights when it got down to, you know, below freezing 31, 30s, it's not going to freeze up. You know, you got 275 gallons of water in there. It's going to take an extended period of time with uh, quite a bit of, of cold to... To actually freeze that up but I do drain it in the winter time um, honestly I don't know 
if like the plastic structure would uh, withstand the freezing I would say not uh, and I don't want to chance it so I drain them every winter and then I just disconnect um, my bottom here I'll spin this plug out and then I'll hook uh, one of those flexible downspouts up to it and I can divert that water all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, about my rainwater collection system. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the views and the likes. Uh, and if you got a friend who's interested in this type of stuff, make sure you share it with them. So thank you, and I'll catch you next time.